There's still some flooded areas in Houston. Here in the west, you can see cars still submerged and crews working at least five to six feet, maybe more of water. And two water plants in this area have flooded as of 7 o'clock last night, had upwards of eight feet. And they've asked people to shower less, to uh, do less laundry, and to flush their toilets less to avoid backing up sewers. And people here in this area were mandatory evacuated yesterday, and they haven't been able to get in to get their things. We talked to one of those residents, Amy Eichel. Here's what she had to say. All I wanted to do is put like damp rid and seal things up in plastic bins so it can last for a month. They're going to let this swampy water sit for a month in my house and it'll contaminate everything upstairs too. I'm, I'm incensed that they're not letting us in to take care of our homes when we had no warning. But the mayor says that roughly 95% of the story is dry, and that's why you've seen the images of so many people digging out of this horrible storm, Julie. Yeah, it's incredible to see the amount of water still behind you. And Griff, what does the future hold then for Houston in the coming weeks and months? Well, in the coming weeks and months, they're going to be assessing the damage. Uh, the governor saying it's upwards of $180 million. We saw all these houses, many of them that may have to be block by block demolished. And we're going to try and spend some time today with the Harris County flood uh, officials and figure out exactly where these levels are and what sort of threat they're in when they have their first threat today of thunderstorms about 40%.